If you hang around Auburn for a few days, it would be hard not to walk by something that might resemble this, a sign or a poster stating that it's a new day here on the Plains. And come Saturday, Gus Malzahn enters Jordan-Hare Stadium as head football coach of the Tigers. We got a team that, uh, you know, they had great struggles last year. And uh, so, so definitely it'd be great to get off to a good start. A good start is exactly what this team wants. Three wins will not cut it for the historic program. Moving on from a tough 2012 campaign is exactly what the players have been waiting for since last November, and the excitement has built for Saturday. We, we've been ready for this moment since since last year ended, and we prepared, and we, we've gone out there since the springtime, and we just decided to be out there and finally uh, had a game week here. It's going to be great to get out there and uh, go up against uh, an opponent other than ourselves. So uh, we're pretty excited about that. Put in a lot of work this off season and uh, just excited to strap it on for real. Gus Malzahn will also have a new quarterback running the offense, Nick Marshall. The Juco transfer may be soft spoken, but when it comes to the field of play, expectations are high. Yet game day is the only true test on how things will work out. In practice, you put them through, doesn't matter if quarterback or any other position, you put them through as many game type situations you can. But until you get in that arena, and that's when you really find out, you know, everything becomes very clear. But one thing is certain. Me personally, I'm, I'm really looking forward to Saturday, get a chance to be back in our stadium with our fans. Um, that's very exciting. Come Saturday, Jordan-Hare Stadium will no doubt be packed to see Gus Malzahn's head coaching debut as he looks to do something only eight other head coaches have done for Auburn since World War II, and that's win his first game. In Auburn, I'm Kirk Narotsky, Alabama News Network.